What's up everybody welcome to another honest review video today I have this Red Magic 9 Pro this is the most favorite smartphone of mine at this moment but before I start the video I need to clearly mention Red Magic didn't provide me with a review unit so I had to buy this Red Magic 9 Pro by myself and it took a bit of a time that's why I'm a bit late to do this review video. Well, before we start this video, one request, if you end up liking this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel, support honest content. Well, this is Red Magic 9 Pro. This has a great flat design. At a glance, it may look similar to Red Magic 8s Pro, but there are a few subtle differences. Red Magic 9 Pro has the same squared of rectangular design, glossy back, but this time the camera block is moved to the left and there is no camera bump. And that makes the device even more attractive and gorgeous. In hand, it feels silky smooth. The flat edge of the aluminum frame actually helps to have a better grip and personally I like this design. Overall build quality is super sturdy and super flagship class. Red Magic 9 Pro has an aerospace grade metal frame and both the front and rear panel is glass panel. Under this glass panel there are a few RGB lights here and there, an active cooling fan and Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 logo. On top, there is a 3.5mm port, an IR blaster, a dedicated secondary speaker for proper stereo sound output, and a secondary noise cancellation microphone. Primary speaker, USB-C port, primary microphone, and the dual SIM compact SIM tray. Everything is located at the bottom. I need to mention the USB-C port is a USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 port, so this Red Magic 9 Pro supports a very fast data transfer speed. There is nothing but an air outlet vent is on the left side, volume rockers, power button, air inlet vent and shoulder triggers or gaming buttons all are located on the right side. These are 520Hz gaming buttons so definitely very responsive and very smooth. A third mic for better in-game chat experience along with a dedicated game lobby slider are also located on the right side. Yeah, I have mentioned this before in my other videos. I'm a sucker for transparent design. I feel like this design of Red Magic 9 Pro is not only gorgeous but also super elegant. Red Magic 9 Pro comes with a 6.8 inch BOE Q9 Plus FHD Plus AMOLED display panel. This panel has under display camera and I think this is one of the most important point because we have all the display real estate without any interruption on the display panel as the selfie camera is hidden under the display. The 6.8 inch AMOLED panel of Red Magic 9 Pro is one of the best in its class. It has ultra thin bezels, offers smooth display performance with 120Hz refresh rate and it has a peak brightness of 1600 nits. This display panel also supports 2160Hz PWM. All the other standard features are there along with some exclusive features which makes user experience much smoother. Altogether, the display performance is even better than other super flagships. It's truly amazing. It's one of the best display panels that I have ever seen on any gaming smartphones. Natural yet vivid and vibrant color reproduction, too dark black and super white bright. I think the brand Red Magic knows some true magic tricks. They have turned a dream into reality. I have access to all the flagship devices, yet I have been using this Red Magic 9 Pro as my primary device for entertainment because it has the best display panel. Kudos to Red Magic. Stereo speaker setup of Red Magic 9 Pro is another thing that has shocked me with an overwhelming performance. Red Magic 9 Pro supports DTS. Let's check the sound quality and you decide by yourself how good is the performance. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think this is the best among all the synthetic benchmarks. I prefer 3D Merc over Antutu Benchmark. I always run Wildlife Extreme Stress Test. This test actually runs the same loop 20 times, which checks both the performance and the thermal management. Okay, I'm not surprised. I was actually expecting something like this. Red Magic 9 Pro has achieved a highest loop score of 5266, which is best among all the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 phones. Also, the stability rate is 99.6%, so the cooling fan has real impact. Personally, I don't like Antutu Benchmark. I have mentioned this many times in many of my videos. Anyway, after running Antutu Benchmark back to back twice, Red Magic 9 Pro has managed to score 2,185,000. Once again, this is the best score among all the smartphones available on the market. Okay, I believe that most of the people would buy a Red Magic phone only for its gaming performance. So, let's check. How good is the gaming performance of Red Magic 9 Pro? Red Magic is a gaming brand. There is a dedicated game lobby slider on the right side of the phone. Inside the game lobby, there is an option to select CPU and GPU frequency. We can select between Eco, Balanced and Rise. I think you will barely need the maximum frequency. Even in balanced mode, Red Magic 9 Pro offers better performance than its competitors. Red Magic has embedded an extra chip, Red Core R2 Pro. This chipset takes care of audio, RGB and haptics, so the SoC can focus on performance. Talking about performance, Red Magic 9 Pro offers the most fluid in-game experience with a very high frame rate. During a 100 minutes gaming session, we have noticed that the frame rate actually remained stable at 60 frames per second. That's a really a great consistency. Thanks to its ICE 13 cooling system, which is comprised of underscreen copper foil, underscreen graphene, 3D ICE dual step vapor chamber, aerospace aluminum mid frame, high speed cooling fan, high thermal conductivity gel, motherboard copper foil, high speed aerospace aluminum air duct, and high thermal conductivity copper foil. All these together optimizes thermal performance by 150%. The truth is, in real life, there is no other smartphone which can even compete with Red Magic 9 Pro. Because Red Magic 9 Pro comes with a set of shoulder triggers, which supports 520Hz refresh rate and 960Hz multi-finger touch sampling rate. On top of all these features, don't forget that Red Magic 9 Pro comes with a great uninterrupted display panel, which offers natural, yet vivid and vibrant display performance. Red Magic 9 Pro has the same main sensor as its predecessor, Red Magic 8S Pro. It's a Samsung Isocell GN5 50 megapixel sensor, which grabs nice photos. And as this time, Red Magic has finally added optical image stabilization, I mean OIS, to the main lens, the performance has become way better. Red Magic 9 Pro also has a 50 megapixel Samsung JN1 ultra wide sensor and a 2 megapixel macro sensor. Let's check some photos and videos that I have recorded with this Red Magic 9 Pro. I think I'm ready to give 8 out of 10 for its camera performance, considering that this is a gaming smartphone.
Red Magic 9 Pro comes with a 80 watt charging brick inside the box. This charger takes 42 minutes to fully refuel the tank of a 6500 mAh battery pack. That's really fast. I've managed to squeeze more than 11 hours of screen on time on my Red Magic 9 Pro with very heavy gaming sessions. With the same usage pattern, Xiaomi 14 Pro won't even go beyond 7 hours. Red Magic 9 Pro runs on Red Magic OS 9 and Android 14. It is pretty close to stock Android and as Red Magic offers a long-term update schedule, we are gonna get major Android updates for years. There is a RAM expansion option, we can extend the RAM up to 10 GB. No 3D ultrasonic sensor on Red Magic 9 Pro has made me a bit disappointed. I wish next year Red Magic will upgrade this old school in display fingerprint sensor to a 3D ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. Anyway, this in display fingerprint sensor works perfectly fine, it's fast and accurate, no complaint. Also, there is an option for face unlock. This is a 2D face unlock option, so not that secure but pretty fast and smooth. When you use it, you won't even notice it because this is faster than flash. Before we wrap up, I need to mention Red Magic 9 Pro comes with Widevine L1 certification so we can enjoy HD streaming on this smartphone without any hassle. And yeah, if you want to use banking applications, you can do that without being worried because Red Magic 9 Pro has passed the safety net test so definitely this is a very safe and secure smartphone. Finally, yeah, it's time to verdict. I think there is nothing to say in this segment because for 650 US dollars, Red Magic 9 Pro is a gem. You are not gonna find any other smartphone within this price segment which is even ready to compete with Red Magic 8s Pro. So definitely Red Magic 9 Pro is the king of its own kingdom, the super monster of gaming arena. Well, that's all about this Red Magic 9 Pro. If you have liked this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to this channel. Support honest content.